This video will introduce you to Mesa's user interface. The user interface is divided into two main sections, the main menu and the mission area. Within the main menu, there are three sections, the BSI icon, the quick access toolbar, and the ribbon bar, otherwise known as the toolbars. First, let's talk about the BSI icon. If you click on it, you'll be able to open, save missions, and exit the program, or open recent missions with a single click. The quick access toolbar contains buttons that are used often, so you don't have to switch between tabs on the ribbon bar to find them. You can customize the quick access toolbar by right-clicking on the desired button on the ribbon bar and choosing Add to Quick Access Bar. You can click on the drop-down box on the right to customize this toolbar. Moving on to the rest of the main menu, these are the toolbars on the ribbon. File, Mission Builder, Mission Controls, Entity Controls, Avionics Displays, Combat Displays, Analysis, and View. The File Toolbar contains file-centric commands such as creating, opening, and saving mission files. It includes commands about importing and exporting files and data. The Mission Builder Toolbar is used to place platforms, sites, and cultural objects. The rest of the toolbar controls the pre-mission behavior and extra mission building tools. The Mission Control Toolbar contains commands to run the overall mission, like starting, stopping, and pausing the mission. Think of this toolbar as controlling reality in the simulation, whether the missiles can kill or to reload entities fresh out of ammo. The last part of the toolbar has tools for manipulating or measuring the mission area. The Entity Control Bar controls the behavior of the currently selected entity. Here you can change its speed, heading, altitude, etc. You can also control the entity's route, intentions, and reactions. The Avionics Display Toolbar will bring up various guidance and navigation gauges. Take note of the drop-down menus for each icon. And this area is divided by category. The same idea applies to the combat displays, where you can find weapons control and electronic warfare equipment. The Analysis Toolbar contains RCS and EW tools, and can also bring up windows that give readouts on the currently selected entities, such as flight information, waypoint status, engagement status, and logs. The View Toolbar gives you access to the program settings and options. This toolbar focuses on how the software displays and behaves. Now that we have gone over the various toolbars, let's talk about the types of buttons in them. If a button has a red border, that means that the button represents a condition that can be either toggled on or off, such as turning on or off unlimited ammo. Think of the black border buttons as a momentary switch. When you click on it, that action will happen once, such as reloading the SAMs with fresh missiles. The buttons with a gold border represent conditional states, such as how an entity will react to being attacked. The buttons left without a border don't fit into any of the above categories. They either signify a drop-down menu or a tool you can choose. Moving on to the mission area, here you can bring up context menus by right-clicking on either the map or the entities and objects in the mission area. At the bottom of the mission area is a readout of the cursor's coordinates, the elevation at the cursor's location, and the mission clock. 